Hey everybody, this is Joe with Unprofessionally Unboxed again, and today we're gonna check out this 10 foot summer waves active frame pool to cool off during the summer and just be great for my 16 month old son. So this is our third season putting up a pool in the backyard uh, and it seems that we keep downgrading. We had an 18 foot originally, then we went to a 14 foot pool and now we have a 10 foot pool. And the reason why is, I mean, we were spending money on all those, those other pools and we weren't using it as often. We were still going out to the beach. We were still going out other places to cool off. Um, so we just got a 10 foot pool for the 16 month old that we have our son Enzo and uh, now we have a little patio back here uh, and instead of having a larger pool um, we got ourselves the Intex inflatable hot tub and then we'll put the little 10 foot pool over here and I think that works better for us if you haven't seen the video you're interested in an, a cheap inflatable hot tub by Intex you can check that out um, I'll leave uh, I'll leave it in the corner right there uh, but yeah, you can check that out. So we're going to unbox this and we're going to set it up in this uh, little area here. Uh, this comes with a, I think it says it comes with a ground cloth, which is really a, just a tarp. I bought a Rhino pad from Amazon, so I'll leave uh, a link below for that if you want to check it out. Uh, it's a little bit softer. It's basically a giant felt pad that you could put under here. So that way you don't have yourself a, a blue tarp, especially if you got a nice little patio you want to show off. You'll just have that Rhino pad underneath the pool. All right, let's see what's in the box. Watch your children in the pool. Of course, one of these do not return to the store deals. Active frame pool instructions. We don't mess with the instructions. Uh, and this is the reason I picked this up instead of the Intex that I normally do. Um, Summer Waves actually has the skimmer built in with it. So that way I don't have to deal with the bugs and all that as often as you would with the, the Intex, which just has hoses on the outside instead of this uh, filter pump and skimmer on the side. Since my wife is watching the baby, I'm doing this myself. I'm just gonna flip this upside down and pull the box up and should release the content since they're kind of stuck in there. Just three neatly packaged boxes. I'm just assuming by the shape of the box that these are the legs. Hey, look at that, I was right. Let's just set these off to the side on top of that rhino pad for now. On the bottom is all the T-joints and the footers. As well as the pins to put everything in place. This says to not use a box cutter. Luckily, we're not. We're using scissors. I follow instructions. Is actually a, a patch in case you get any holes in it put that to the side and here ooh, it's like a like a light blue pool liner i don't know if that's the inside or the outside of the pool and the last box here should be the skimmer and the pump oh look how cute this little skimmer is oh it's so small Inside here is all, all the parts to it. I have the, the footers laid out. I got the bag of pins here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take all of these out the plastic and they have the additional support poles for the ring on the top of the pool inside. So I'm gonna take all those out and I'm gonna lay them out and get it easier to set up. I'm in a race to beat this storm. I'm gonna get this set up before that rain starts pouring down. So I got everything out of the plastic. I got all the T-joints out of the plastic. I got my footers there. I got all the pins in the bag here so they don't roll away. It's the only thing I actually kept in the bag so they don't roll away. Now it's time to start putting this all together and making it look like a pool. All right, let's roll out our liner and get it set up to the area that we need it. I wanted to point out a couple of things. This is, this is a pretty decent wall. This is what most of the uh, Intex or Summer Waves pools are made of. But the bottom of this, the bottom of this is pretty cheap and pretty thin. 
so I would be careful with this. And the other thing is I said that it comes with a, a liner or a tarp. Um, it, these pools usually do, and the 14-foot summer waves I had last season did. This one does not, so luckily I do have the rhino pad. Um, if you're putting it um, on the grass in your backyard, I would suggest picking up uh, one of these or at least getting that tarp. Another thing with this is that when uh, you set up your filter and your skimmer, just make sure that it's facing an area where you have electric at. You don't want to have to run wire unnecessarily around the pool or in areas that you don't need to. Make sure that this is facing the area that you need to, to plug it in at. So there's two of these tubes. Um, this is a thinner one and it's got uh, the plastic clips up on the top. These are going to be the legs because they fit right in there in the leg holder. And weird enough, the thicker one, the wider one, you think would have more support. I guess it's going to be the support for the top of the pool. You can take this pole and you can either slide it in through the top and then put on the feet afterwards or you can just put on the foot and then right from the bottom slide it through if you wish. So for around the edge of the pool these sometimes can be tricky depending on the pool. Um, some people use soap and water to line the inside and then slide it through uh, but this one seems easy enough if I uh, get it through since I'm using one hand. And you get yourself a T-joint. The side support goes in there. You slide it in. You line it up with the hole. Just twist it a bit. And then you put yourself your plastic pin in there. All right, let me get the, the rest of the frame and position the pool to where I need to be. Okay, so 15 minutes later of me setting it up, I didn't put the pins in yet, uh, and me missing a couple of the, the bars <laughs> originally, I decided had to put it in a second time after I realized I didn't put them through. Uh, I got it set up. Uh, one thing I noticed is that when I was putting these together, the paint was chipping. So this, I mean, every year we throw them away anyways, but if you're someone who wants to keep it for a few seasons, I don't think you will. This is probably going to rust on you as I was putting this on that that paint came off easily and we're missing a few of the footers so I'm going to go through the box again because I don't want to damage the concrete we have most of them it looks like I might just be missing one is there just one just one two so I'm gonna look in the box see if I can find those footers all right so I thought these were plugs since they came in with the pins. For whatever reason, these last two footers are separate by themselves with the uh, with the pins. So let me get those on the bottom of those poles on the outside of the pool. One thing I'm a little disappointed in is that it didn't come with a pool cover either. Usually the Summer Waves pools that I buy the last couple seasons come with a pool cover. So it doesn't have a ground cover and it doesn't have a pool cover. Let me hook up the skimmer and filter. Okay, something else I noticed that I'm a little disappointed in is usually the more expensive pools, you just take this and you just screw it right on the other side. I mean, like, not with actual screws like this has. I mean, the piece that goes on the inside of the pool just twists right on, and it's right on the pool. Yet this cheap one, I mean, I actually have to, like, put pieces together. So let's line this up. Fun, fun, right? Let's get these in here. My son's getting a little upset. He wants to start swimming in the pool already. And then it has two of these in here. Uh, one to spare. I mean, this is cheap, cheap, cheap. Uh, but I guess this year I bought cheap. Um, and we just line that up on here. And then, we use all this to, to screw it on. All right, now that I'm done, felt like I was putting a bike together. Snap the uh, flap in place. 
there we go. So this actually functions the way the filter and skimmer should work. Um, it's just screwing on instead of actually having actual screws. You put that through there. You put on the attachment. And that's how you seal it up on this side. And then for the inside of the pool, you screw that on there to get the water back into the pool. You'll attach your hoses onto each end there. And from the pump, I mean, you could have done this before, but I did it afterwards. You could put it on your cheapy plastic clamps beforehand. I did it after, screw those on, tighten up, make sure this thing ain't leaking. And that's pretty much it. This pool is actually bigger than I thought. Uh, I see a lot of videos on YouTube before purchasing it. And I mean, you have a couple kids in there and it, it looks even small on a couple of kids. This is actually pretty good to just chill out and cool off in. Um, I'm going to jump in here in a second. I'm 5'4 uh, without any water. And then hopefully you guys can kind of get a feel of what the size is. Yeah, this is this is a lot bigger than I thought. I don't know if you could tell. I'll try to, I don't know what angle. I'm 5'4". It goes up to about my hip area. Um, but as far as like just having room to move around, I like that. Um, definitely you can have a couple of loungers. If you got family with you, your wife, a couple kids. Um, you and the wife could have a couple floats. While the kids go around and splash you with no issue at all. If you have some adults over and you just want to cool off, this could, if you're just lounging, six adults just sitting in here, just chilling, cooling off. Maybe you go from your Intex hot tub to the pool to cool off back to the hot tub. You're hanging out in here. Um, but I'm going to wait to fill up this pool next week because it's supposed to rain all this week. So with a little bit of uh, YouTube editing and all, I'm going to have this pool filled for the next clip here we go so here it is i mean it's almost completely filled up it's enough where it can turn on the pump here suction going down there you can see it pulling in the leaves again this is the reason i picked this one up is for that filter i don't see any leaks no leaks out the hose um I got me a couple couple floats. You could see that you can actually get a couple of full-size adult floats in here with no issue. And you could have a kid or two playing on the side. And then over here, I got me a floater. I got a three inch uh, chlorine tablet in there. And then I have uh, bacon soda the arm and hammer bacon soda tablets that actually keep the ph balance pretty good in the pool keep it clear that's what i use for the last couple of years and they work absolutely perfect so yeah this is it set up um i put a little bit of an extra padding on the bottom there just for the concrete patio so that way just in case it moves i don't, I don't think it's gonna move but but just in case it moves it doesn't chip anything yeah, uh, this is much bigger than I thought 10 foot pool would be. It's going to work perfect for us for the summer. Nice and quiet pump too. I think this pool is going to work for us. It, you know, it's pretty, uh, it goes up to my hip here. Yeah. That's pretty, pretty good size for us. You're going to get yourself an adult drink hanging out in one of those little, little floaters. Oh yeah, definitely. This is one, I, this one I got for you. Specifically, okay. Yeah, it's like a little hammock for it. So I can chill while you're, you know, not here. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> while I'm at work, you're gonna be chilling in the pool with the baby. Yeah. So uh, to scale, you know, as you can see, an average size is well, five three. We're two short people. <laughs> uh, 
a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Um, if you like this video, it helped you out, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more from us, what should they do, Tina? Subscribe. All right, hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks.